When working with daylight, it can be very hard to anticipate exactly how it's going to behave. You think you know what's going on, but you really don't. I grew up in a big garden, so daylight for me was very, very important as a child. So when I studied architecture, I was very interested to bring light into the buildings. We were building into a dense village. The owner is a farmer and he wanted to have a modern house with a lot of light that you can feel how the weather changed, how uh, the sunlight changed to stay in contact with nature. We discovered that the best place would be to put the new loft on the old building of his parents, which dates from the 14th century. We wanted to open it totally to the nature to bring in this wonderful landscape. And when I originally walked into this room, I have to admit I was somewhat taken out that window and, and into the view beyond. But as you spend time here, you realize that in fact, there's more than just view. There's certainly a complexity of, of light. There's a calmness in the morning. But then as the sun moves past noon, the sun will start to enter the space through the skylights and it becomes very dynamic. So you have patches of light which will move throughout the day. Felix Daylight Visualizer is a fantastic tool. I can compress time, I can spend a year all in a few minutes. When we got the result of the Daylight Visualizer, it helped us also to see which kind of intensity do we have. If we get too much, it could be too bright, it could get hot, but you see exactly the zones. For instance, the new windows will be exactly over the staircase, so we were able to bring down the light to the next floor. And it was astonishing how Stefan's mother, she was uh, over 80 years old, was totally fascinated that her old house can have these qualities. Our bodies are driven by daylight. This is hundreds and thousands of years of evolution here. We can't really fight it. Access to daylight is similar to a good diet or doing exercise. When I think what makes a building truly sustainable, it has to do with longevity. Daylit buildings are often well-appreciated buildings and well-appreciated buildings often have a longer lifespan. I just can recommend to my colleagues or to other architects to think about at the very beginning about daylight because this makes the quality of the room. You can make your clients happy and they stay happy.